My role at Johnson Controls is to lead all aspects of procurement for our building efficiency division. So Johnson Controls is a $43 billion multi-industrial company. Uh, building efficiency is approximately $14 billion. And my team buys all of the products and services, um, which is roughly $7 billion for our 80 plus manufacturing facilities, along with our over 340 branches globally. I would say that my main prediction is as the, as the point cost goes down um, for devices and, and for processing technology, um, I think you're gonna see um, technology evolve the end products or things from, from smart devices and smart things to intelligent devices and things. And so you're gonna see um, overall pro processing occur more at the product level uh, than, in, than in traditionally done that's uh, through the automation applications. IoT is enabling us to uh, track products, um, not only products, but our components and raw materials that go into end products. So what we're able to do today that we couldn't do in the past um, was we're able to track everything from raw materials to work in process to actually how our customers are using our end products. Right, and we're using that investment, or we're using that knowledge to be able to create better and more efficient products and, and able to solve our customers' problems in, in a much more expedited and thoughtful way. Through the ability to gather and collect data and automate the collection of data, um, we're able to influence all aspects of, of manufacturing from a new product development perspective all the way through the manufacturing of our goods and services. So we're able to produce more reliable products, um, more cost efficient products, and, and strengthen our overall communication end to end to, the, to our value chain. For us, we're seeing huge advancement in reduction in energy consumption, along with carbon footprint, uh, reducing our carbon footprint. And so, in, a, in addition to that, um, we're, we're spending a lot more time on, on the occupancy of our customers inside a building. Um, and the people that maintain the buildings are becoming more and more demanding, right? So, so we in the past um, have, have worked really hard to, to solve problems for both sides, right? We, meeting the needs of the occupants of our buildings while also meeting the demands of the, uh, the maintenance and owners of the buildings. And what we're seeing with IoT, um, it is enabling us uh, to do both, right? So we're improving um, the comfort, we're being able to personalize buildings like never before, and we're also able to improve the overall performance of the buildings, right? So we're reducing energy consumption costs um, and, and helping with the overall asset value of buildings. Uh, when you think about it, 47% um, of the world's consum you know, energy consumption is in buildings, right? So as we get better and better at helping uh, the efficiency and effectiveness of those products, we're obviously gonna make a huge impact, positive impact on the environment. Learn, apply, and thrive.